Sani, I know I've been bad on social media, and um, yik yak. I mean, I just couldn't resist. I know it's for the college kids, and I didn't really use it right, and I was kind of mean. And I know my picture on Instagram last week was probably not appropriate. Oh, and my Facebook post two weeks ago. My teacher made me so mad, but my behavior in class, it's got to improve, I know. But I just love messaging my friends all times of the day. And I can't help it. So, maybe I'll just talk to my friends, Kinsey and Riley, and they can give me a few pointers. So, Molly, I uh, hear you're on the naughty list. Yeah, I haven't really been behaving myself on social media, but I just, I don't understand why you need to have a good digital footprint. You see, Molly, it's important to have a good digital footprint because there's a lot of people that are going to be important later on in your career that look at things like job interviews. A lot of the time the people that are hiring you will look at your oh. social media accounts to see how you act and how you interact with other people. Oh. Yeah. Your work colleagues might judge you on what you posted in high school. Yes. Mm. And colleges, a lot of colleges will look at your Facebook account, Twitter accounts, Instagram. Oh. Well, what are some things I can do to improve my digital footprint? Delete the bad pictures. Yeah. Delete the bad posts. But some of them are really funny. They might be funny, but they're also hurting other people, and they're hurting your digital footprint. And you're on the naughty list. Then quit messaging your friends. But... And that post on you it's that important. might have been funny, but it was rude. But... Okay. Well, hopefully Sam won't put me on the naughty list. Yeah. Hopefully I still well, get presents for hopefully Christmas. Hopefully you can get off that naughty list so you don't get cold. Sam, we'll put a good word please put me on the nice list. I'm begging you. 